Russia recruits African doctors due to the war in Ukraine. UK intelligence. Russia is recruiting unqualified doctors from Africa due to a shortage of personnel caused by war and mobilization. The healthcare system in Russia continues to degrade, according to the Ministry of Defense of the United Kingdom. On April the 3rd, the chairman of the State Duma of Russia announced a shortage of 30,000 doctors, with the deficit in district hospitals being approximately 50%. This is more than 26,500 reported in November 2023. According to British intelligence, the current shortage is explained by some medical workers moving to the private sector, while others have left the country. After the mobilization in September 2022, doctors were explicitly warned not to leave the country. Up to 2% of Russian doctors and medical workers left Russia to avoid conscription. January 2024, estimates prove that over the past 15 months, the number of doctors has decreased by 7,500 due to the long working hours and low wages. According to the Center for European Policy Analysis, to address this problem, Russia is recruiting personnel from African countries with limited qualification verification. The major resource and financial commitment of supporting Russia's war in Ukraine is negatively affecting a range of civilian sectors that serve the Russian population. The numbers of healthcare professionals in Russia will continue to decrease throughout 2024. Externally sourcing medical staff with limited checks on qualifications creates the potential for clinical delivery degradation. The British Ministry of Defence says British intelligence reports that Russia is proposing a bill to raise the age of contract servicemen, including those called up until June 2023 to 65 years old to 70 years old for officers. According to the World Data website, the pre-war life expectancy of Russian men in 2021 was 64.2 years. Thus, this measure effectively grants these servicemen long-life contracts. The Levada Center shows that support for the war among Russian residents has remained consistently high since February 2022. In January 2024, the 77% of respondents supported the war against Ukraine, while 16% did not support it. U.S. CIA warns of risk of war between Iran and Israel. The destruction of the Iranian consulate in Syria, which resulted in the deaths of dozens of senior Iranian officials and generals, risks escalating into a major war in the region. American intelligence CIA warned that within 48 hours, Iran could launch a military operation against Israel, reports Vox News. Earlier, senior officials in Iran reacted to the attack by stating that their country already has every right to respond to Israel's attack on their consulate, a Middle Eastern media outlet reported. Lebanese pan-Arab satellite news channel al Mayadin has stated that Tehran plans a combined drone and missile attack dubbed a rainstorm, launched from its bases targeting strategic sites within Israel. Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Khamenei published threats in Hebrew. With God's help, we will make the Zionists repent for the crime of attacking the Iranian consulate in Damascus, he wrote. On April the 1st, Israel launched a missile strike on the Syrian capital, Damascus. As a result of the attack, the Iranian consulate building was destroyed. One of the casualties in the attack was a senior commander of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, Mohammad Reza Zahedi. His name was included in the so-called blacklist of the United Nations, which consists of 15 high-ranking military and political figures of Iran suspected of involvement in Tehran's nuclear and missile programs and who are banned from leaving Iran. His death was arguably the most significant blow to Quds since its then-commander Qasem Soleimani was killed in a US-targeted assassination in January 2020 in Baghdad. After the incident, the Israel Defense Forces announced a call-up of reservists to strengthen its air defense system. This is not the first time that the Israel Defense Forces has struck Syria. In December, the Israeli army eliminated the senior advisor to the Iranian Revolutionary Guard, Syed Razi Musavi. Ukrainian troops have prevented another attack by the invading Russian army near Terny village in the direction of Lyman City in eastern Donetsk region. Artillery strikes were launched against the invaders who sought to advance with a convoy of tanks and other armored combat vehicles. As a result, the vehicles and manpower in the column were destroyed. A few surviving infantrymen tried to escape. 
It should be noted that Russian troops have stepped up attacks in Donetsk region in recent days. A convoy of 36 tanks and 12 infantry fighting vehicles of the Russian army advancing in the direction of Toninkoy village near Avdiivka city was destroyed by Ukrainian fighters. In addition, Russian troops launched an attack with armored vehicles near the village of Novo Mikhailovka. As a result, the vehicles in the convoy were destroyed, and the attack was prevented.